question 7a copy and complete the table of values for the equation y equal to 7s squared minus 7s minus minus 9 for minus 3 less than equal to s less than equal to 6 that is the range of values of s you have the table of values with some y values missing and you are expected to solve for them b using scales of two centimeters to one unit on the s axis and two centimeters to four units on the y axis draw the graph of y equal to two s squared minus seven s minus nine four minus three less than equal to s less than equal to six c part of the question use the graph to estimate now if you go one roots of the equation 2s squared minus 7s equal to 26 now if you go two coordinates of the minimum point of y roman figure three range of values for which 2s squared minus 7s is less than 9 solution so we are asked to copy and complete the table of values this is the equation and the range of values of s now to get y we need precisely two things we need to get two s squared to get minus 7 s minus 9 is a constant and as such you write it under each value of s the way you are seeing it so let's get 2 s squared first you get s squared multiplied by 2 when s is minus 3 minus 3 squared is 9 9 times 2 is 18 when s minus 2 minus 2 squared is 4 4 times 2 is 8 when s is 6 6 squared is 36 times 2 you have 72 so let's get minus 7 s when s is minus 3 you have minus 7 times 3 times minus 3 that is 21 when s is minus 1 minus 7 s becomes 7 when s is 2 you have minus 7 s as minus 7 times 2 that is minus 14 when s is 5 minus 7 s becomes minus 7 times 5 that is minus 35 to get y now you simply add the values down so you have 18 plus 21 minus 9 that is 30 8 plus 14 minus 9 you have 13 8 minus 14 minus 9 you have minus 15 and so on this is the complete table of values so we are now in B parts and we are to plot the graph. So this is the given scale, 2 cm to 1 unit on S axis. You have 2 cm to 4 units on Y axis. This is the meaning. This graph you have here, each of the square is 1 cm by default. So if you combine two squares, you give it 4 on the y axis the next two becomes eight the next two is 12 and so on if you move down you have negative values but on the s axis 2 cm is one unit as you can see to both left and right this scale implies that one line is equal to 0 0.1 on the s axis 
if you divide the number of units by number of lines that is 1 by 10 you have 0 0.1 and on the x-axis you have 0 0.4 units that is one line next thing is to plot knowing what one line stands for help us to locate decimal values although this table you don't have such but, but, but when you are asked to solve letter you see the importance of knowing what one line stands for the first point when s is minus 3 y is 30 you plot it at this point when s minus 2 y is 13 now you have 12 here so if you have 12 in that place you have to count 13 13 so after 12 we have okay on the on the y axis one line is 0 0.4 now you need 13 so after 12 the next line is 0 is 12.4 the second line is 12.8 and the third line is 13.2 so you have 13 in between 12.8 and 13.2 that is the middle of it what you have here so you see why getting what one line stands for is very important next point when s minus 1 y is 0 you plot that point directly on the s axis when s is 0 y is minus 9 if you do the same counting now you have minus 9 somewhere here when s is 1 y is minus 14 if you count from 12 somewhere here is if I 40 should be the 14 okay you count it 0 0.4 should be one line you have 14 somewhere here against 1 that is minus 14 when s is 2 y is minus 15 somewhere here when s is 3 y is minus 12 you can locate that easily when s is 4 y is minus 5 somewhere here note that you count from minus 4 notice that one line is 0 0.4 when you have 5 for s y is 6 that is somewhere here and when you have 6 for s y is 21 so all the points have been plotted next is to join them together every graph has a title and is usually the equation or equations that you are plotting but here we only have one equation and that become the title of the graph all the points have been joined together we move to C use the graph to estimate my figure 1 roots of the equation 2s squared minus 7s equal to 26 you must note that the graph you plotted is 2s squared minus 7s minus 9 so for you to use the graph to solve any other equation that equation must be simplified to the one that is plotted to achieve that from here you simply subtract 9 from both sides so you have it in this form therefore 2s squared minus 7s minus 9 is equal to 17 and you know everything here is equal to y if you replace this with y it means the solution of the equation occurs at y equal to 17 so you go to y as is and locate 17 somewhere here you trace it to meet the curve at both ends here is the first point you trace 
So S as is, this is the second point. You also trace to the S as is. Notice that on the S as is, one line is 0 0.1, the solution becomes minus 2.2 or 5.7. 5.7 Roman figure 2 coordinate of the minimum point of y that is the lowest point of the curve that is somewhere here now when you say coordinate you find s and y value at the minimum point here you trace to the s as is and you trace to y as is for s as is you have it here 1.8 and for y as is, you have minus 15. That's the coordinate of the minimum point. Roman figure 3, range of values for which 2s squared minus 7s is less than 9. For us to have the equation that is plotted, you simply transfer 9. To the left hand side and you have 2s squared minus 7s minus 9 less than 0 if you replace the left hand side by y it means the range of course at y less than 0 so for us to do that range we write y less than 0 as equation that is y equal to 0 so the range of course at the point where the curve cuts across the s as is so one point is here another point is here and you have minus one and four point five the range is always written using a symbol of inequality so the range is minus one less than s less than four point so this is solution to question 8 sorry question 7 question 7